Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Light Beam's Treasures and Curiosities, bringing you another what sold on eBay video. Now, this particular video, we're going to look at what was sold on Thursday, September 17th. Now, I will be honest, yesterday was not a good day for me at all. It started out where it was supposed to be exciting because I, I know I was talking about how I was going to go to state sales and there was two major sales that I wanted to go to. Well, unfortunately, a friend was in an accident at the estate sale, um, fell over, cracked open, and broke his nose. And it wasn't just broken nose. He took a face plant into the concrete. And all I could say is, which it was a little traumatic for me, was the amount of blood everywhere. I'm trying not to remember it, but I had nightmares about it last night, and it's really, really bothering me, and I'm holding a lot of guilt in, but I have to get back to work in some sense of normalcy, and I'm just praying and hoping that he's okay, because he was airlifted to the hospital, and it's not good. But we'll see what happens. Please send out thoughts, prayers, and good energy, and hope that he... It's better quickly. All right, so what was sold? Um, first off, I sold a lot of movies. Um, I'm going to be doing a new strategy just for the time being because the bulk of what I'm doing right now is setting up for moving into the new office. In 12 days, yes, only 12 days, I'm going to be in a new business, and it is going to be a massive move. Eh, not really massive, but it's getting all my inventory into the new space. Uh, we're figuring it's going to take a lot of boxes, and that's one of the things I have to get is boxes. So the strategy I'm doing right now is do not put any inventory except for DVDs. DVD sell, put up as many DVDs. The sale of the DVDs will supplement everything else because it takes way too much time to put stuff up unless it's an auction because live auctions are fine. But when it comes to eBay, it takes way too long to put everything else. So I think the bulk of my sales over the next week or so is going to be mostly DVDs. So let's get right to it. The first one happened to be I took a special offer. Um, dealt with this um, uh, this buyer in the past. Uh, we didn't see eye to eye at first, but now I'm understanding. I know he's a drop shipper. That's fine. You want to drop ship? Not a problem with me. Um, I'm making a, a profit, he's making a profit. But now I understand what his strategy is, which I told him, if you want a list of DVDs, why don't you contact me first instead of keep making offer, 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 because it, it's just wasting his time, it's wasting my time. Now that we both see eye to eye and understand what he's doing, I'm like, okay. So he bought a total of six movies. Six movies bought The Red Baron, which happens to be a World War II Oops, oops, don't want to break that. World War II um, fighter movie. Come Undone, which is a film, ooh, one of those naughty naughty films. I do notice that he purchases a lot of the rich gay films. This is definitely one of them. The sex side of low budget films. Purchased Crazy Love, which happens to be a Japanese love story. Or should, oh, Hong Kong. I'm sorry. Hong Kong uh, love story. Mother of Tears. This is a cult classic horror. And then the Ninth Company, which is a military um, a military film as well. Soviet uh, military. Purchased all of these. Got a special on this for $34.50. So that was a bulk special on that. I ended up taking that deal simply because I end up saving on shipping on all these movies. Because instead of charging $3 shipping in one, by doing this combined, it is going to be a much less shipping price than if I was going to do each one separately. So that alone is why the price is much lower. Then I sold Unlocking the Great Pyramid. This is one of those National Geographic. I'm doing really well with like the Nova, the National Geographic, the um, documentaries. Um, this one happened to sell for $9.99. Then I knew I was going to sell this one. In fact, I put it up the other day just for the sheer comedy. 
It's Serrano de Bergerac with Gerard Depardieu. Just look at that nose. Oof. He's one of those guys. What a weird actor. Um, this one sold for seven dollars. This one, oof, I gotta get, put some extra care on this one. This one is Operation Scorpio. It is a martial arts film, sold for $17. We like when um, movies go high. Then we have Eyes Wide Open. It's the story of um, Orthodox um, Jewish, uh, Orthodox Jewish love story, I guess. I don't know. And that's uh, $11.99. And then I sold the Grace card, which this is a evangelical drama inspired by the Bible. So you could tell that the movies that I sell are not necessarily your everyday mainstream movies. And I think that's the beauty. I had somebody recently ask me, um, they were offering a deal for a dollar per movie. And I told her it's not worth it. Not worth it. If you're going to go to it, I mean, if they're selling it for a dollar per movie, because that's going to be my um, my deal, is when I go to the store, I'm going to sort these, separate them, put them in genres, and I'm going to sell them for a dollar a movie, which is actually ridiculously cheap, because we have another video store here that will look up the Amazon prices and sell them to you at a fraction of what Amazon is selling it. That's their deal. So I'm... I might even do $2 a movie. I don't know, because I have some really rare movies here. But anyway, the total that I got for just the movies, $88.47. That is incredible. In addition to the movies, I also sold a book. And I just want to show this book. Um, I will admit I'm a little disappointed in the price, but I shouldn't be disappointed because I got the book for free. But it is the Dallas Cowboys... Um, Pro Cartoons by Barry Medlin and Larry Mel Medlin. So these were um, cartoon artists. What makes this special, and this is why I went way too cheap, is the fact that it is signed by both of them. It is a signed copy. I had this up for a very long time. I mean, I probably should have kept it up even longer. Um, I kept lowering the price, and finally someone made an offer. And I mean, when I say I had this up for a long time, we're talking... I've had this up for over two years now. So someone finally made me an offer. They're getting a beautiful signed copy, Dallas Cowboys. I even tried to sell this local. I'm in Texas, and I tried to sell it local. Nobody wanted this book. I guess they did not understand the significance. So the person who got this book for $28 is going to be very happy, and um, I guarantee it's going to be probably worth a lot more. Um... I'll just show you because there's beautiful all kinds of cartoons and stuff like that. And the fact is, like I said, it is signed by both illustrators, by both Barry and Larry Medlin. So congratulations. Um, you got a book for $28. So with that, oh, in addition, um, I did a um, unboxing uh, video yesterday, and I realized it was not a good video. I just... I mean, I probably look awful now. As bad as I look now, I looked 10 times worse yesterday. So I'm just going to show you what I got because it's something to be excited about. Yes, I got my eBay swag. I got my t-shirt. I got my little thank you card for 25 years along with my stickers. So this is, in fact, I am going to open this up. I mean, I was debating. I said to my husband, ooh, should I save this and keep this as... But you know something? I'm proud. I am... That's what I am. I am an eBay reseller. I sell on eBay. Look at that. Do, do, do. eBay 25. I sell on eBay. I sell on Macari. I would love if Macari had shirts. 25 years of selling... What does it say? Oh, se oh sellers being everything. <laughs> 25 years of sellers being everything. And so I got my swag. It just so happens that September 25th happens to be the big celebration, which is funny because that's also my mommy's birthday. So it's like a double whammy of celebrations. But I'm so glad I got myself a shirt. I was wondering, somebody mentioned that they're going to get like an embroider to embroid um, the logo of their business. I probably should do that. I was talking with um, Paul in regards about that because got to come up with a brand. 
something that represents light beams treasures. And I want to do something with the moon or something like that. But I think that's going to be the next step to my um, growth in my business is to actually brand myself. But I feel like I'm not there just yet. We'll see what happens. For now, it's getting into the new office and actually making sense of this mess and chaos. So with that, everyone, like I said, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a lot of movies. Um, in fact, for my listing challenge, I put up over 85 movies yesterday. Yeah, it's, it was a lot of movies. I, In fact, I just took this back and just sorted them this morning because after I put them up, I have a box that I have them in alphabetical order. And it makes it easier for me to just pull them out as they sell. So I'm going to get started on that. Until next time, everyone, good luck. Please say prayers for my friend. And hopefully I will get rid of this guilt that I'm holding and how bad I feel. So with that, have a great day, everyone.